A key. Can be used to open wing A. Okay. <gasps> Not appreciated. How's it going, everyone? Welcome to Tyler Play Game. Today, I'm going to be continuing on with the beast inside. Chapter 6. The judge tried to strangle me, and he would have succeeded if it weren't for the man in the top hat and mask. He killed Judge Norton right in front of me. He cut his throat. But it looks like he was trying to save me. But why? I didn't read that right. Christ, my bad. I can't do it on my own. There's so much blood. Dear God, is this one of the guests? I don't know. Go get someone. He'll bleed to death. Press on the wound. I'll get help. The janitor is upstairs. Room 207. Where are you? Who is this? Easy. Don't try to get up. Good Lord. No one will ever talk me into a mountain trip again. There he is. Looks like that missing fellow. The detective showed guests his dagger type. Detective? You mean that nosy fop Walter Gilman? Holy mother of God! I have to telegraph the sheriff. No, this man needs a doctor. Uh, I've seen wounds like this. It's only a matter of minutes. I'm sorry, son. These voices. Okay. There's so many of them. Wait, wait. I, I think I've heard this conversation before. They said that a certain detective, Walter Gilman, looked for the judge. He was interested in missing people from the area. He might know something about my father's disappearance as well. Maybe at the reception desk I can find out his room number. Ooh, a notice. Him. Judge John Norton, father's former associate. Is that possible? I've just witnessed a crime from a decade ago? I'm getting lost. Memories and delusions all bleeding into one. Well, that's not good. The missing judge. Someone has been looking for him. Walter Gilman was the janitor who usually kept the reception keys in room 207. Room 207, okay. I'm gonna sweep the floor a little bit. This place is dirty. That's not working very well. All right. Eh. <gasps> what happened? Oh. What? Who? Hello? Okay, somebody I think tried to kill me while I was sweeping. Um. Uh, okay, that room's blocked. Sure. Mm -hmm. That's good. Need a key. That's good. Need a. I can't speak or think very well right at the moment, so please excuse my idiocy. Um. That's blocked. Okie dokie. <gasps> Noises. What? Who's been lighting candles and who's creaking around here? Hello? What's this? Um, I'm assuming that's where I am. Okay. There's stairs over there. I am so confused. Why? Why with this painting? Nobody needs it. Nobody wants this painting. Nobody likes it. Oh, look, a room. Hello? Is anybody here? Everything's locked. I'll take those, though. Thanks. Hiya? Okay. Hmm. Is there anything of value in here? Probably not. Ah, there is. Good. Good, good. Huh. Oh. Right. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Not appreciated. Stupid ghosts. For what? What? For... Luke 8.17 For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. I really don't appreciate the whispering. 
Okay. Please don't whisper. I don't like it at all. I will take these. Hello? Oh. Okay. I do not like anything that is happening. I need... Oh, not to crouch. Okay, here we go. Hello? Oh, I am very uncomfy. I say that a lot, but... Adam Driver, is that you? Huh. I really don't like that whispering at all. G give. 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 Okay. Oh. This place has some very bad vibes. Hello? Anybody in here? I will take your matches, though. Ooh, kerosene. I will take that, too. Maybe. Possibly. Thank you. Thank you. There's a ladder to nowhere. Huh. Eh. Eh. Nope. Gotta go the long way. Okay. Doki. Oh, something bad's gonna happen. Something bad always happens in Nicholas's chapters. And I don't like it. Uh, hello? Really? More? Okay. Oh, I don't like those noises. What? Who is this? What is he doing here? I didn't see anybody. Um, are you sure it's not another mind trick? Oh. Uh, hello? Hello? Okay. 209. 208. Ha! 207. What's this? Nothing important. Damn, it's a chain. Okay. I knew something was going to happen. So sharp. Maybe I could use it to cut through the chain. Excuse me? Um. Oh, I don't like that. Okay. Uh. I hear so many things in my ears, and I don't like any of it. Too startled for words. That's never good. Usually I don't shut up. And now I can't think of anything to say because I'm nervous. What was that? Hello? Oh, wonderful. That's what I wanted to see. Um. <laughs> What just happened? What was that? Where did it try to drag me? To hell, maybe? Christ, what have I gotten into? Oh, that's a very good question. Will we ever find out? Um, hopefully not? Excuse me? I'm sorry for touching your can. I didn't know that was a uh, special thing to you. I'm just gonna look for a moment. Okay. Don't see nothing. Those are all locked, I'm assuming. Yep. Oh, it got quiet. Okay. 
<sighs> I'm gonna keep stalling. I'll get a book. Take this! I like that I can throw really far now. Now that I found out that was something that I could do. Okay. Oh, there's blood. Mm. Hmm. Oh, good. You're saving. That's just what I wanted to find out. Mm hmm. Oh, good. You again. You will forever haunt my nightmares. Uh. What? Okay. Hello? Occupied. I don't need room service right now, thank you. Oh, my thing needs kerosene. Okay. It's been kerosene. Okay. I'm just gonna. I'm, I'm following the blood. Because that's always smart. Uh -huh. this? Looks like oh. a slaughter. Good lord. Oh. Something's wrong here. I'm still crouched. I better grab that tool and get out of here. I did. Cut through the chain in the janitor's room. It will. What's this? The first magazine edited by patients? Opal, a mag magazine for psychiatric patients. A magazine created for the patients of a psychiatric hospital. In many such places, patients cannot even dream about such amenities. They get fed pig's will and tied to their beds. Many don't survive their stay, and the ones that do are never really free men again. It should be considered great luck to even get out of such an institution. I guess so. I don't know what to think about that. I mean, at least they get to write their own stuff. That's, that's good. Okay, I want to leave this room. This is a bad room. Bad things have happened here. Uh, oh. Okay. Get out of here. And I go after this. <laughs> okay. Well, apparently, oh, it broke. That's why I don't need it anymore. Hello? Is anybody home? I really hope not. Hmm. What's with the creaky creaking? I'm determined to find it. all of the kerosene. I don't know why I'm still collecting matches. I don't use them, but you know, might come in handy. Unless that uses them. I never looked. Hmm. Whoa! Okay. Is that bags of money? I wish. It would be nice if they were. Bags of money would be great to have. My kerosene. Poor soul. He spent most of his life here, and after death, he's still the inn's janitor. But now for eternity. What? And the guests, from what I can see, are sure to cause trouble. Why are you talking like you know this janitor? And that you saw him? Because I didn't see a thing. And now I'm concerned. Ah! Oh. Okay, that's what you saw. Well, that answers that question. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay, good thing I wasn't standing over there. I feel sorry for that poor wretch. He took to drinking to keep himself sane. I'm afraid I might end up like him if the ghosts don't leave me alone. What does this say? 
Mr. Jacob keeps telling me to lay off the bottle. He says that I'm seeing things, but I swear that it's all real. I drink because I'm afraid. Something lurks in the forest. I've heard some inhumane screams in the trees and howling in the caves. I've seen claw marks on the bark. Mr. Jacob says, calm down, you drunkard. You'll scare away the guests. What if they should be afraid? How many people have gone to the forest and never come back? My God, I can hear this howling again. I won't find any rest tonight if I don't take a swig or two. That's unfortunate. I also really don't want to know what you found in the forests or what you saw. Poor man. Okay, I have the keys. I really want to get out of here. <gasps> okay, guess I can't go that way. Thank you. I saw a ladder over here. I'm assuming I have to go outside the door. Into the rain. Can I get inside through? Nope. Oh, good. Mm hmm. This is what I wanted to do. Go! Okay, I'm safe. Fox. Oh, I'm inside. Okay. Um, I don't know what key I have. Something bad is gonna happen. I just know it. Oh, what's this? Ha! Huh. A key. Can be used to open wing A. Okay. <gasps> Not appreciated. Really didn't like it. Is this a ghost? Or did, did I completely lose my mind? A little bit of both. Okay. I'm assuming I can go in here now. Good. Do not open. I really don't want to. Anyways. Oh. My heart is still going crazy. Touch. Whoa. Click. I'm clicking. I'm pushing. I don't like this whispering. Okay. Hey, I've seen this painting before. Hello. Okay. Uh. Note with password. Looks like the janitor had a serious problem with one of his guests. Okay. That fucking weirdo wanted to blow me up. I managed to subdue the bastard and lock him up in one of the rooms. May God watch over you if you ever need to enter the B-Wing. The combination to the pad lock is anger. Oh, good. I really don't want to do that. But I can't go upstairs. And apparently I need to go to B-Wing. <sighs> this painting is going to haunt me for the rest of my days. Oh, I have a bad feeling about all of this. Angap. It's not Angap. Okay. Uh. Not N. Do OP. What is with the horns? Because I really don't appreciate that. I have a bad feeling about this. I have a very bad feeling. Okay. Have no fear. Brian here? Uh. Yeah. Oh, I'm so spooky. So spookied. So, so spookied. Get out of my way. I'm assuming it's going over there. Okay, I don't like the horns and all of the noises that you are bringing forward. Okay. Hello again. Um, 
Did we find where the judge went? Mm -hmm. We sure did. You guys didn't see it in the last one that I did with him, but yeah. Okay, read the note first. John, everything went as planned. Yes, my dearest brother, we have reached the finale of our masterpiece. I have managed to procure a uniform from a Union soldier and get all the way to the northern reaches of Massachusetts. On my way, I've slaughtered three traitors of our sweet land. Those loving bastards that spit on our flag. I must have got lost in the local woods, though instead of Lowell, I found myself in some backwoods. Thankfully, God has guided me to find an abandoned inn where I'm making final preparation while saying my prayers. You know what that means? Yes, God is on our side, brother. He too wants our work to come to fruition so that the days of Abraham Lincoln and his cursed followers are numbered. I hope you've made it safely to Montreal. I trust God protects you the way he protects me. God bless the Confederacy. God bless Jefferson Davis. James W. Booth. So good. The Union uniform is just a disguise. It's all getting more and more mysterious. Okay. Oh, sure it is. Oh. Mm. That's... This must be what that disturbed janitor was writing about. I don't like that his coat is moving. I don't like that. Okay. Hello? What is that? I don't want to find out. But I'm also ridiculously curious and I shouldn't be. I should have learned a long time ago, you are never curious in these kinds of games. These damn roots again. They seem too tough for me just to break them. I can't deal with it with my bare hands. I need some kind of sharp tool. Well, you should have kept the saw. Even if the blade broke, it could have still been useful. Okay. I don't know why we need... Oh, good. Excuse me? Um, that's not good. I couldn't just get up and walk away. Apparently he did. <gasps> oh, let me go. Help! Help! I will relieve you of your life, you Yankee bastard. You can't stop the assassination. We can make creepers mine. Ah! It, you fool! Okay. <coughs> you coughed so hard that fa painting flew. The fainting flew. Oh gosh. he's gone. I hope. Please don't come back. Uh, I have to get closer. Ugh. Last one. Good. Now I get to go out the window, apparently. Yay! This game is everything that I ever dreamed of. <laughs> okay. It's fine. Can you tell I love this game? Oh, it's the best. I don't know how I ever lived without it. <clears throat> okay. Let's search George's office. Why? Am I searching George's office? Where is George's office? I have no idea. Alright. That was helpful. Thank you. Um, this is George's office. Oh good, I get to lockpick again. Gah! 
This is why you don't pick locks, kids. Okay, first try. I hope this is George's office. I hope I didn't just waste my time. Okay. I did all of that without even noticing that I didn't have my... Hello, are you George? You were supposed to check every possibility, Norton. You're a judge, and you should know how to bend the law without breaking it. The contract states you can both hand over your shares without each other's consent. I'm sorry, George, but you signed it yourself. I never thought that bastard would try to outwit me, and that his demented spawn would sneak into the mine. What do you expect? The brat cannot inherit. We have to persuade that old fart somehow, or we'll end up with nothing. You deserve nothing. That really happened. Did they plot against my father and me? Apparently they did. I'm sorry, Nick. Uh, okay, what's this? Nothing of importance. Look, keys. Can be used to access the reception and rooms 107 and 208. All I have to do is go back to the reception desk and find Gilman in the guest registry. Oh, great. I have to figure out how to get back downstairs? Did you not see all of the hassle that I just went through to get up here? That's great. Thank you. It's always what I wanted to do. Let's go. Oh, what's this? Uh, judging by the description, Henry seemed like a t typical melancholic, but I wouldn't jump to conclusions and say that he must have committed suicide. Too many people have gone missing in these parts, and certainly not all of them were overly sensitive. Mr. Hyde, I have already written to you multiple times, but I have never received a re reply, so I'm asking again. Do you really not remember my brother Henry, who stayed at your inn two months ago? He's a 31-year-old, tall, slim, and wears glasses. He came to your establishment seeking some peace and quiet after a recent breakdown. As a young artist, he was planning to paint landscapes. He always loved the serene atmosphere of the region and said that these mountains and forests struck the right chord in his soul. As I've mentioned in my previous letters, my brother never returned home. Blackstone was the last place he was seen. I cannot dismiss the possibility that he may have taken his own life as it was full of suffering, but I hope that this is not the case. Maybe you can recall some detail that would help me solve the mystery of Henry's disappearance. Yours sincerely, Anthony Wilcox. Well, I hope that person's brother came home. I watch too much about disappeared people, and I hope for the best. What's this? More notes. Ooh. A newspaper clipping. Cruel murder, Blackstone, New Hampshire. Wednesday, September 13th, 1854. Monday, September 11th, the sheriff issued an arrest warrant for Jacob Hyde, a mine and inn owner. Hyde is accused of murdering Judge John Norton, who, badly wounded, passed away upon arrival at the inn. A $500 reward is being offered. So he killed the judge. Is that who is the mysterious person that saved us from the judge? Or was that all just imaginary? I don't even know what to think anymore. <gasps> oh. oh, good. Avoid the spooky lady, and I'm not entirely sure how. Okay. Um. Oh, that's closed. Uh. Where am I going? I don't know. Oh, sweet Jesus and crackers. Nobody told me there were two! So I can't go down the stairs. I can't go that way. You're not so scary! Go! 
Okay. Ooh, can't go that way. I have to go in here. Holy cheese. That's not the direction I need to go. Close the door. <sighs> that was awful. Uh, what's this? What is it? A lump of pyrite from my father's mind. Some call it fool's gold, but it has brought considerable wealth to the Hyde and Whitehead families. Okay. That's that's great. Why do I have it? Pardon me. Oh. Okay. I will take all. I don't want the book. Okay. Oh man. Apparently, I'm not allowed to go over there. I would like to, though. with the creepy noises. Oh look, matches. I don't need them. This rug is trembling. The rug is about as scared as I am. Okay. I'm taking my pyrite. It's coming with me. Or not. Because I can't carry things and open doors at the same time. Okay, I think I'm safe. I made it downstairs. I have a ferret, and I'm not afraid to use it. Okay. Okay. Anything else gonna happen? Psychiatrist Herbert West, MD. Looks like a business card of some doctor. Today at 5 p.m., an appointment with Mr. Whitehead concerning the boy. Soon before the accident at the mine, the relations between my father and his associate became very strained. George was irritable because of the stagnation in their business, and for some reason, he seemed to blame everything on my father or me. I might have been an insufferable brat, I can't deny that, but he kept calling me a lunatic and saw my innocent pastimes as deranged. Is it possible that he had brought a psychiatrist all the way here just to get rid of me, or maybe it was about some other boy? I have a feeling it was about you. I hope it's not, but that's kind of what it's all being pointed to, unfortunately. I'm sorry, Nicholas. There's painting on the bed. I am stalling because I am afraid to see what else happens here. I am so scared. Oh god, I told you! <sighs> see, I was afraid of what was gonna happen! any more of these jump scares. One of these days I'm gonna have a heart attack. What's up with the flies? Okay, I 
can hear them, but I can't see them. Oh good, kerosene. Keep it. I didn't want to pick up that. Thank you very much. There are so many bad noises. What is this? It's stuck for good. That's no use. Oh, good. How is it stuck for good? We might need that. And I really don't like that we can't have it. Let me... Okay. And a reception. Which room did Detective stay in? I don't know. The one with the key that's here, I'm assuming. The detective was staying in room 203. That's upstairs. Looked like he never checked out. Oh, so good. The key for room 203 is missing. But maybe. Maybe I can get there from room 202. I must find out how much Gilman knew. Okay, I guess I'm going this way then. I don't like any of this at all, if you haven't noticed. What the heck? I didn't like that. Mm -mm. She knows where I am. It's good. It's great. So nervous. Oh, this is the room that I. Okay, so that's blocked. Okay. Hello again. Quickly, I need to hide. Okay. How do I? Where do I? she has found out. Uh, they blocked my entrance. Uh, oh. <gasps> no! Okay. Oh, this is great. Quickly, I need to hide. How do I do this? I think I know, but I'm gonna wait until he goes by. God, I hate you. I hate you so much. Ugh. in here you can't come in oh god you can come in quickly i need to hide i'm already hiding Exactly the brightest zombie, but apparently you know how to use doors. Which is not something that I had expected. Oh no, I got stuck. Okay. That didn't turn out very well. Pull the 
thing. Okay. Oh. For frick's sakes. How do I easily get there from here? room 202. You said easily and nothing seems to be easily about this, so I really don't appreciate the lies, Nicholas. Is it this? Let's see. Can I kick up the wall? Hiya? Nope. It's nothing behind there. What? What happened? Who? Oh! Was making that seem a lot worse than it was. Mm -hmm. eh. Okay, I am here. What's this? Oh, some matches. Sure. Thank you. Okay. I mix up. Expecting something very bad to be here. Accepting. Gilman! Open the door! We need to talk, just you and me. Greetings, Mr. Hyde. Got the pleasantries. I know what you are up to. I don't really know why you're so upset. I really... You aren't the only hack who thought he could sniff out a scoop. But, but I'm not looking for a scoop. I just want to sort this out. There's something unsettling going on in this charming little corner of the world. So many people have gone missing, including your friend, Judge John Norton. I want to find him. Please. That's my sole motivation. You can shove him up your ass! You want to prove I'm responsible for his vanishing, because you're just desperately looking for a story that will get you publicity. The word publicity sounds strange, coming from someone specializing in sweeping things under the rug. Two years have passed since the incident in the mine, and many things still remain unclear. People lost their lives. Many others have gone missing since, and you act like it was just a minor incident. It was an accident. A tragic accident that cost the lives of my employees and ruined my business. That's all. Oh, I'm afraid that's not all. Ever since then, people have gone missing in the area. Many people, even guests of this establishment. Enough! I want you out of my inn by tomorrow. Do you hear me? Okay. I hope the detective left something here. Well, he left some matches on the table. And a book? Really nice throwing book. Pick. Anything in the drawers? No. Nope. I'm afraid to look around. Because every time I do, something bad happens to me. And there's still that really creepy mumbling. Oh good, kerosene. Thank you. Ooh, a document. The detective's first note. During his investigation on the missing judge, the detective discovered that people had been disappearing for a long time in these parts, ever since the explosion at the mine. He began to suspect that the person to blame might be my father, Jacob Hyde. He even visited the mine to look for clues that would confirm his suspicions. I kind of agree. The disappearances started right after the incident accident at the mine. I'm aware that the neighborhood isn't very safe with all the forests, mountains, swamps, caves, and whatnot, but I don't believe it's all a coincidence. I found it very hard to believe that the explosion was a mere accident, even though Jacob's version was confirmed by investigating officers. One of the locals told me that right before the explosion, Hyde had brought several barrels of gunpowder to his lot. I'm going to the mine to check the shaft for evidence that Hyde could have left there. The sheriff might have overlooked something, or he might have been bribed. Maybe that will shed some light on the disappearances. I didn't know the detective the... went to the mine that day. Nobody knows if he ever came back. I must retrace his steps. There may still be traces of what happened back then. I vaguely remember the accident, but the gunpowder.
water barrels? Missing people? What's happened here? My father was a cruel man, I can't deny that. But would he be capable of killing in cold blood? What am I supposed to do? I guess I'll have to go down into the mine. Great. That's just great. It's locked. I should look for another exit in this room. Um, there was the hole over here. You know, this hole. Get this out of the way. Okay. Huh. Good. Eh, eh. Okay. Uh, I'm so nervous. Oh, great. Excuse me? What the hell is this? This can't be real. Um, what? Take this, please. Okay, I guess not. Oh, something bad's gonna happen. I must have lost my mind. Hello? What are you doing here? May I help you? No? Okay. Just follow the blood. Hello? Is it... Is it only in my head? I sincerely hope so. Oh, hello, Chain. Pardon me. Just trying to... get through here. This is off pudding. Oh. I think I'm going mad. Excuse me? Um... Why can I not run any faster than this? I do not like this at all. Oh... My freaking blob. Oh... Get out, get out, get out, get out! Not a good sound. Um, 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 I am trapped. Oh my god! <laughs> Why? I'm about as good as this game as I was at Evil Within. Okay, okay. Aha! Oh my god! There's more of them! Holy freaking hell! What? You know, I heard once that a lot of people don't finish this game, and I can kind of understand why, because this is getting really difficult. And I'm not having any fun anymore. Okay, go through here. I go through here. I turn here. Go down here. Oh, I can't go that way! Oh no! Okay. Oh my gosh! 
I just gotta keep going. Run faster, Nicholas, run. Oh my gosh. I have to run. I am trying to. What? Was I supposed to know that was going to happen? So that was yet another terrifying chapter of Nicholas's and the Beast Inside. Not entirely sure why I've been playing this game. This it just keeps getting worse and worse, and harder and harder. And yeah. Well, thank you all so much for watching, liking, and subscribing. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you will never miss an upload of mine. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and hopefully I'll see you all next time. Bye.